Okay, so we're just going to real quickly finish up uh, 7.4 here. We just have the graphing portion of it. And I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, uh, but I do want to make sure we go through this slowly. Uh, there is a couple of terms that may be confusing. But again, graphing is working the same way as it did before. Uh, we have the general parent graph, and then it can move based on what type of uh, function it is. But essentially what we're going to do here is knowing what we know about logarithms, we're, when we graph it, if we're, going to, if we're going to graph it without a graphing calculator, we just need to know certain points. We're going to plug in points that we know we can figure out to make it easier. So here, if you look at this graph, this is when our base b is greater than 1. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, things like that. And then this graph over here is when b is in between 0 and 1. In other words, a fraction or a decimal that is less than 1. So here you can see, here's our b to the x graph. We've graphed these earlier in this chapter. This is what the complete inverse of that will look like. Notice it's, I mean, it basically is a reflection over this dotted line right here. The other thing to note is the graph of an exponential function, we always had an asymptote, that asymptote where it never touches zero, it always approaches but never touches. Well, the opposite is going to be true here. The asymptote here is going to be it approaches the y-axis but then never touches that. So that is, so we have a vertical asymptote is what we call it, at, uh, is the y-axis. So if you look at this again, we are basically, we have a graph that's going to increase uh, as such here. Over here, if it is a, if our base is going to be less than one, if it's a fraction, then we're going to be starting up high again. Our y-axis is still the asymptote, and then it decreases as such. Now, right here, it tells us exactly what our domain in our range will be. So the domain of a regular log b of x is going to be x is greater than zero. So all x values greater than zero, you can see that from the graph. It's all the x values moving this way. Okay, and then the range is going to be all real numbers because we're going all the way negative, all the way down, and then we're eventually going all the way up if we were to continue on. And that is true for both of them. So the typical domain will be x is greater than zero. The typical range will be all real numbers. So let's look at an actual example and just follow along here. So basically what we're looking at here is we have log base 3 of x. So what it says is plot several convenient points. In other words, we know that the equivalent to this is 3 to the x. I'm sorry, I lied. 3 to the y equals x. So we have, sorry, we had a little glitch there. So 3 to the y is equal to x. So basically what you're doing is you can go in reverse here. We know that 3 to the 0 will equal 1. That's why we have 1 comma 0. y is equal to 0, 1 is equal to x. Then you could say, okay, 3 to the 1 is equal to 3, 3 to the 2 is equal to 9. So it's a little bit easier to go in reverse there. Plug in the y to get your x value. And all we're going to do is, is plot these. 1 comma 0. And again, I have little problems here, so I'm going to try and do the best that I can. So we have 1 comma 0. And then we said 3 to the 1, but that's y value, so 3 will be, uh, so it would be 1 comma 3, or I'm sorry, 3 comma 1. And then when you plug in 2 for y, you get 9 for x. So we get a function that looks similar to this. And again, most of these functions will look exactly the same. The complete inverse of the exponential function. Okay, so again, domain there is uh, anything that's greater than zero, x is greater than zero, and our range there is all real numbers. So again, don't stress too much about the graphing. You can always use your calculator where needed, but at the same time, you should have a general idea of what a logarithmic function looks like in a graph. Uh, that will, I mean, it's just good to know, know these things so that way you don't always have to rely on a calculator. All right, that's it.